wealth, power, influence. Donald Trump had it all. His story is a captivating tale of ambition, triumph and controversy. From a real estate developer to becoming the 45th President of the United States, his journey is filled with twists and turns that left an indelible mark in history. This is the extraordinary story of Donald Trump, a man who shaped the destiny of the nation. Donald Trump was born in 1946 in Queens, New York. He was a fourth of five children to Fred Trump. At 13, he did not grow up as a middle-class kid. The family had chauffeurs, he was taken to school in a limousine. He never had to work regular jobs. His father, Fred, was a millionaire real estate developer. Donald John had to be first at everything, even if it was just to get first in line at the cafeteria. When he was very young, he wanted to become a baseball player, but something big was writing for him. He attended the New York Military Academy. From childhood, he had a business mindset. He went to the business school and later attended Fordham University for two years, and after college, he continued to work with his father. He started developing middle-class housing in New York's outer boroughs. He started off making little deals in Brooklyn and Queens with his father. Then, with a loan from his dad, Donald Trump struck out on his own make it. While his younger brother, Donald Trump, was making successful strides in various endeavors, Fred Jr. found himself in the grips of a deep and haunting depression. During this challenging period, Fred Jr. battled inner demons that seemed insurmountable. The weights of his struggles manifested in excessive alcohol consumption, which became a crutch to numb the pain he carried with him. The ravages of depression and the relentless grip of addiction enveloped him, leaving him trapped in a dark and seemingly endless abyss. As Fred Jr.'s battles raged on, his family, including his brother Donald, watched him with a heavy heart. Despite their best efforts to support and help him, the darkness within Fred Jr. persisted, casting a shadow over their collective hopes for his recovery. Their hearts ached as they witnessed the toll that his inner struggles took on his once vibrant spirit. Then, on the fateful day, September 26, 1981, tragedy struck with a force that shattered the hearts of those who loved Fred Jr. At the tender age of 42, he succumbed to a devastating heart attack, the culmination of the physical and emotional toll his battles had taken on his body. After completing his education, Trump joined his father's company, the Trump Organization, in 1968. He quickly showcased his business skills and entrepreneurial spirit, taking on ambitious projects and expanding the company's reach. One of his first significant ventures was the revitalization of Commodore Hotel in Manhattan, which he transformed into the Grand Hyatt Hotel, a massive success that put him on the map. In the following years, Trump continued to make bold moves, acquiring properties and developing iconic landmarks. He ventured into luxury residential buildings, commercial spaces and hotels, often with his name prominently displayed on the buildings as a symbol of prestige. Trump Tower on 5th Avenue in Manhattan became a symbol of his success and flamboyant style, featuring high-end retail spaces and luxurious residences. Trump's business empire expanded beyond New York City, with notable projects including Trump Plaza in Atlanta City, Trump International Hotel and Tower in Chicago, and Trump National Golf Club resorts around the world. His brand became synonymous with opulence and magnificence, attracting high-profile clients and investors. His three casinos were making $15 million a week. Trump had hit the jackpot. Trump's name was becoming a brand and people had started recognizing him. He had everything that he needed. But unfortunately, a crisis was about to begin.
In the early 1990s, Donald Trump found himself on the precipice of a devastating financial crisis that would test his resilience and threaten to shatter the empire he had meticulously built. It was a dark and dramatic period that would leave an indelible mark on his life and career. With a series of ambitious projects and acquisitions under his belt, Trump had amassed a vast real estate empire. However, a perfect storm of economic factors, including a recession and a downturn in the real estate market, converged to create a formidable challenge that would push him to his limits. As the value of his properties plummeted, Trump found himself burdened by an overwhelming amount of debt. He struggled to meet his financial obligations and faced the very real possibility of personal bankruptcy. The extra vacant lifestyle he had become accustomed to seemed like a distant memory as he grappled with the impending collapse of his empire. Creditors and investors, once drawn to his aura of success, now circled like vultures, demanding repayments and threatening legal action. The weight of his financial obligations bore down on him, causing sleepless nights and relentless stress. Trump's world, once filled with opulence and magnificence, now felt like a crumbling palace haunted by the spectre of failure. In an attempt to salvage his businesses and reputation, Trump engaged in intense negotiations with lenders and creditors. He explored every possible avenue, seeking lifelines to keep his empire afloat. The media closely scrutinizes every move, turning his struggle into a spectacle for the world to witness. At the 11th hour, Trump managed to strike deals and negotiate concessions that allowed him to restructure his debt and avoid personal bankruptcy. It was a hard-fought victory, but it came with a great cost. He had to relinquish ownership of some prized properties, sacrificing pieces of his empire to save the rest. In the aftermath of the crisis, Trump emerged stronger and more determined than ever. He rebuilt his empire with a renewed focus on strategic investments and a diversified portfolio. The lessons learned during the dark days of the 1990s would shape his business decisions and fuel his drive to succeed in the years to come. Day and night, Trump strategized, worked the phones and pounded the pavement, desperately seeking investors and partners who would believe in his vision. The media, ever hungry for a captivating story, chronicled his every move, turning his struggle into a dramatic spectacle watched by millions around the world. In the face of mounting adversity, Trump's indomitable spirit shone through. His larger-than-life personality became a rallying cry for those who felt forgotten by the political establishment. His bold and unfiltered rhetoric, resonating with a disillusioned electorate, ignited a populist movement that swept across the nation. Embracing the power of his newfound political influence, Trump announced his candidacy for the presidency in 2015. It was a bombshell declaration that sent shockwaves through the political establishment, who dismissed his chances as nothing more than a sideshow. But Trump, fueled by the passion of his supporters, defied all odds. His rallies became electrifying spectacles, drawing crowds of fervent believers who saw in him a champion of their hopes and frustrations. He tapped into a deep well of discontent, promising to upend the status quo and put America first. The 2016 presidential campaign became a battle of epic proportions. Trump faced formidable opponents including seasoned politicians and the Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton. The race was marred by scandals, controversies and bitter personal attacks. Yet, against all predictions, Trump emerged victorious on that fateful election night. The air crackled with tension as the nation grappled with the shock of his triumph. His ascent to the presidency marked an unpredictable moment in American history, a seismic shift that sent shockwaves reverberating through the political landscape.
As President Trump continued to captivate and divide, his policy decisions ignited fierce debates. And his unfiltered communication style kept the nations perpetually on edge. Investigations into his administration, allegations of collusion and obstruction intensified the drama surrounding the presidency. In 2020, Trump sought re-election, once again thrusting the nation into a tumultuous battle for the soul of America. However, this time the outcome was different. Despite his fervent efforts, he was defeated by Joe Biden, leaving a bitter taste of disappointment in his mouth and among his dedicated followers. Capitol riots, one of the darkest moments during Trump's presidency was the storming of the US Capitol on January 6, 2021 by a mob of his supporters. The riot resulted in multiple deaths, injuries and extensive damage to the Capitol building. Trump was accused of inciting the violence through his rhetoric and false claims of election fraud, leading to widespread criticism and calls from removal from his office. Ultimately, Donald Trump's journey from inheriting a real estate empire to building his own business empire to becoming the 45th president of the US. Was that the start or will the real show begin now? There is a question mark. Now people want to see him as the new president in 2024 election. Who will you vote for? Tell us in the comment section and make sure to subscribe to American Currents.